second episode of Builders for Bharat, Catch Siddharth Diolani, co-founder at Bharat Agri, as he talks about the company's mission of bridging the gap between technology and agriculture in India with a vision to reach out to 140 million Indian farmers. To answer this question, we'll first have to understand the problem that our customer base is facing. This is less of a purchase like we do in a mall or a grocery in a shop. It's more like a doctor and patient relationship, where as a patient, when we enter into a medical shop, we directly don't go on purchasing a medicine. We first consult a doctor to try to understand what medicine we should buy and then we make the purchase. This is the same thing that the farmers need as of today. They need doctors for their farm so that they can understand what kind of seeds, fertilizers or pesticides that they should buy for their farm. Now on the Bharat Agri application, this is the journey that we have built over a few over the last few years where our consultancy driven platform guides the farmer in helping diagnose their crop and select the right products that they need. And it is very smoothly integrated with our e-commerce platform, where once the recommendation is given to them about what inputs they should use, on a click of a button, they can place those orders and directly get the delivery to their doorstep. As of today, based on our estimate, out of 130 million farming families, around 70 million farming families already own at least one smartphone. And in the next few years, 50 million more farming families will be added who will own a smartphone. That means roughly 120 million farming families will have at least one smartphone with them. This is one of the largest market in India. So it's pretty exciting space to be in. The challenges are numerous where these farmers understand the local language that they are comfortable with. And that's why it's important for companies like Bharat Agri to build a platform which consists of all these languages. As of today, Bharat Agri serves farmers in Hindi and in Marathi because of which we are able to serve around 40% of the Indian farming population. And as we move forward, we plan to add more lang languages almost every year. Our next targets would be um, Gujarati language for Gujarat farmers, Kannada language for Karnataka farmers. And even within Hindi, we would be going for some local dialects like Bhojpuri for um, Bihari farmers and also um, Rajasthani language for Rajasthani farmers. So Marwadi language would be included there. So it's very important for companies like us to include all these vernacular languages, which makes easier for farmers to discover us on various social media platforms, interact with our platform on the Bharat Agri app, consume the advisory and place orders. So these are some of the biggest problems that farmers face. Going back on the market again, crop inputs is a 44 billion dollar market in terms of revenue that means every year roughly 44 billion dollars are spent on crop inputs that is seeds fertilizers and pesticides based on our own internal estimates out of 44 billion 26 billion dollars still belongs to non-subsidized seeds fertilizers and pesticides this is something that private companies like bharat agri are currently targeting which can be delivered to the farmer's doorstep the key problem that farmers face is identifying the right product that they should use. Agriculture overall is a very complicated science. They like medical science, it's as complicated where they need to understand what nutrient to add or what pesticide or what fungicide to add there in the add in their farm, which is dependent on their crop, variety, soil and weather conditions. So a lot of science goes behind finding the right input that the farmer should use. Now, unfortunately, the local retailer or the local shopkeeper is not qualified enough to give that scientific advice. Neither are our farmers. Our farmers, unfortunately, have not gone through the systematic education that um, is needed in agriculture. So unfortunately, the retailer can't help them. They themselves don't have that scientific knowledge. So they are dependent on platforms like Bharat Agri, which is what Bharat Agri strongly believes in. We have a very unique and closely integrated advisory platform that gives them the right scientific advice to the farmer 
this scientific advice is personalized to the crop level farm level and the local weather condition which eventually guides them to select the right product for their farm and it doesn't stop there that right product is also delivered to their doorstep within 3 to 4 working days now because we are an e-commerce platform we ensure that the basic problems that farmers face on the local shop related to stock out or availability of the product is something that farmers don't face we have more than 200 suppliers on the platform as of today and every quarter we are adding a few uh, more suppliers every quarter so we ensure that we don't face stock out related problems so that farmer gets the product that they need we have to remember this is a medicine for their crop this is not something that they can compromise with or buy some other product like we do in grocery this has to be made available at the right time which is then delivered to them at their doorstep um over the years bharat agri has served more than 4 million farmers and the impact can be categorized into two different categories the first is the economic impact on the farmer our advisory solution helps the farmer in increasing their production by 30% from the same piece of land this directly adds to their revenue when farmers use the bharat agri platform we guide them with integrated nutrient management integrated pest and disease management selection of right seeds right varieties and right fertilizers these are science based inputs which helps them get the most out of their soil this increases their production by 30% adding directly to their revenue at the same time we avoid the problem of over usage of chemical fertilizers and pesticides this reduces the amount of money they spend on different various inputs it optimizes the inputs that they need on the farm which reduces their cost by at least 20% This is the economic impact that we are talking about. Around 4 million farmers have seen this impact where their production or revenue has grown by 30% and their cost has been reduced by 20%. This directly leads to higher profit for our farmers. The other category of impact that we are talking about is our farmers also contribute positively towards creating a climate based impact. When Bharat Agri recommends them new scientific based solutions we reduce their chemical usage and replace it with sustainable agriculture related products this reduces the usage of chemicals and at the same time reduces greenhouse gas emissions our own internal estimates and audits have given us the data that around 17 million tons of greenhouse ga- gas emissions have been prevented by bharat agri farmers in the last 3 years all this because of using the right science and using the right inputs i think this is one of the most interesting and fascinating change that we are see- seeing in the rural landscape of india and that is something that keeps us excited every day Uh, let's first talk about the digital infrastructure and then we'll come on the physical infrastructure uh, talking about digital infrastructure as of today the smartphone penetration among rural india is more than 52% that means every second farmer owns a smartphone quite huge right and this is growing at a fast pace in next 3 years we will have almost every farmer owning the smartphone this was something that was unimaginable few years back This was the biggest hurdle of taking the right technology and information to rural India. But because farmers today own smartphone, in few years every farmer will own a smartphone. The information has been democratized. The information that you and me have in urban cities and metro cities is the same information that our farmers or rural users have access to. And Another problem that we were facing few years back was the kind of devices or internet speed that rural users were having was quite low end. They used to frequently delete apps because the storage was not enough on their phone or the internet was quite slow. So they were unable to consume high quality videos, they were unable to be as active on the internet as you and me are. But they have good devices right now. storage is not a problem and internet speed is not at all a problem in rural india as of today so their internet usage is at par 
as with internet usage of urban city this has been one of the most fascinating improvement that india is seeing as of today the another thing that we have observed is before 2020 if you wanted to deliver a product a physical product in rural india firstly it was not at all possible in all pin codes when we were talking to several players for the last mile delivery um the serviceability was given up to only 30 to 40% that means rest 60 of percent of the pin codes in rural india the delivery was not at all possible and wherever it was possible it was extremely expensive and time consuming you and me if we place an order on e-commerce today in metro cities you will get the order within less than 24 hours and in tier 2 cities we get it in 2 to 3 days but in rural india an average order used to take 8 to 9 days to get delivery but many fascinating changes have happened over the last few years specifically after the pandemic the first one being that as of today deliveries are possible in almost all the pin codes bharat agri delivers to more than 20000 pin codes as of today so first one was the possibility of delivery second in most of the pin codes we can deliver in less than 3 to 4 days which is at par with e-commerce in cities right so rural india the infrastructure is developing at a pace where it becomes at par with urban cities very fast so in almost all the pin codes we can deliver within 3 to 4 working days the third interesting part is the costs are coming down drastically the way rural development is happening in terms of infrastructure our cost within a few years will be at par with urban delivery cost it is facilitated by a lot of infrastructure development that is happening in rural india and at the same time a lot of creativity and innovation that our team implements to improve our business model to summarize uh, the pace of digital infrastructure development we are all aware of because we see that in social media but we are also seeing pretty fast development in terms of physical infrastructure and that is why companies like bharat agri are able to deliver physical products in all pin codes in remote areas at low cost and in low delivery times bharat opportunity is quite large we feel that for india as a country the next phase of growth is going to come from rural india the rate of growth in rural india will be much faster as compared to the urban part of the country because of increasing literacy increasing digital awareness digital penetration and physical infrastructure when we talk about crop input as a market that bharat agri is serving in the non the non subsidized fertilizers and seeds market is more than 26 billion dollar opportunity and this we are talking about only the crop inputs we are not even talking about ancillary agriculture products like cattle farming fish farming their tools equipment there are a lot of things that farmers consume that may or may not related to their crop agriculture which is another 5 billion dollar opportunity waiting to be captured apart from that what we believe is that once you have acquired the customer to buy crop input products once they trust the platform once you have the delivery to the last mile you can also provide them non agriculture products like home appliances personal care beauty products it's an e-commerce platform that starts with crop input but extends into other categories that farmers can buy so it's a large opportunity 26 billion dollars just a number for crop input products uh, bharat agri has scaled quite rapidly in last few quarters currently we are doing more than 100000 orders every quarter and we are growing 50% quarter on quarter and the improvement in the infrastructure in physical as well as digital space is facilitating our numbers as well so because we are a purely digital and advisory driven platform the achievement of scale has been much faster than as compared to a physically driven business model i think this is a very interesting question we have to see the entire evolution of e-commerce in urban india we first saw that our general e-commerce started by providing us uh, product categories like books personal care or even electronic items but over the years apart from improvement in e-commerce that is faster delivery better checkouts etc 
what we also saw was completely home grown d2c brands in niche product categories that were built completely in india and listed on these e-commerce platforms that were then provided to customers like us i think the same evolution will happen in rural e-commerce as well the e-commerce platforms are being built right now where farmers or rural users can place orders and get home uh, doorstep delivery but slowly we will see home grown brands who will manufacture and package products specifically for rural consumers these home grown brands will be personalized to these rural users which will have much better demand or uptake as compared to the products that these multinational companies are manufacturing that's what we have seen happening in urban india and there's the same thing that will happen in rural india so it's a big white space where a lot of new age products are needed by the farmers but are currently not available and some home grown brand will come in manufacture these products personalize them for the farmers and list them on several e-commerce platforms like bharat agri